All right, now let's sow my uh, onions I had planted in egg cartons. I'm gonna do this the simple of sweet area it can be. Yeah, digging a hole, putting the whole rack in it. Way, making sure there's dirt everywhere underneath it. Oh, that's my part. There you go. I'm gonna put some dirt over it. You could break up a little bit the egg carton. I'm not gonna. Yeah, just make sure the um, well the cardboard is uh, covered up so it doesn't leak out all of the moisture away from your onions. Some of them had died up, and honestly, I kind of forgot them between. Uh, well, they were kind of covered up by my potato plant. And I kind of totally forgot about them because I should have put them outside way earlier than this. So these were green onions. Those are, well, Cortland onions, I think. I'm gonna do the same thing. Dig a little trench. Put the whole thing in like that. There you go. Yep. Hopefully, a little. Thing. I haven't sewn anything in here yet. What that? What's that? A rock. You go rock. Because I'm probably going to be planting some uh, herbs in here. Because they're going to be close to the house and everything. And I'll be able to access them quickly. Alright. That's about it for my onions. I'm going to water them. Yeah, that's about it. It's pretty, uh, well, if it works, <laughs> probably will, you know, it's the easiest way to plant rows of onions. All right, that's it for onions. <laughs> the dog is sneezing. <laughs> All right, look what I got out, my greenhouse. So to all of you who haven't seen it yet, this is my little greenhouse that I built one afternoon in my garage. Yeah, all made from reclaimed wood. The only thing I paid for was the plastic, which is just like, you know, um, a vapor bar barrier you put on houses. And uh, I guess the screws, because we do get a lot of wind and nails would probably have come out all right so i took well first of all and uh a very, uh some of my uh seedlings or sprouts what are, not not sprouts but uh, my young plants and yeah i'm gonna leave that note. uh approximately one of each i'm gonna see what lives and what dies <laughs> i also brought my lettuce because they were taking a lot of room in the house. My uh, squash, because it wasn't getting that much big in the house. And my potato plant, just for the fun. Yeah, not sure if there's potatoes underneath this. Probably not, because it's still a little bit early. But yeah. Finally, the greenhouse is out. Oh, now I'm going to close it up for the night. And we'll see. Go. What happens tomorrow morning, I guess. Okay. There you go. Alright. Look at this big dandelion. I am going to use it in a salad for supper. I can't really like... <clears throat> oh yeah, baby. Look at that big mother. Yeah, the leaves aren't that pretty, but at least there's some flower buds. And the roots. I'm gonna try to dry those and see. Oh yeah, another uh, a tip here. If you have some, uh, you know, unwanted plant. Let me see. Yeah, I took it out so I can't really find it. And I can't find it there near here. I had planted like first year. I was here some... Uh, 
some Chinese, uh, not Japanese, not, not, let's call it Japanese, not wood, I think. Anyway, it's like a, uh, one of the most, uh, the one of the worst, like, introduced plants ever. It actually, uh, well, it's everywhere now. Especially in the U.S., like, it's covered, it's actually from, uh, one coast to another now and yeah it was introduced like dandelions I guess no no dandelions they ate them they were uh, the not wood they were introduced for uh, you know landscaping and all that stuff and it's a pretty harsh weed anyway you can look it up and what I'm gonna do because it's the only way I found to kill a persistent weed like it was there, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna do this all over there. No chemicals. The only thing you're gonna be left is a yellow spot for maybe a few uh, few months. But I boil a big pot of water and I just pour it up on the weed. Whoa. <laughs> and yeah, it kills it instantly. Works great with the uh, ants also. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to get rid of uh, weeds. I'm not gonna do this with my dandelion since I'm starting to eat them. There's so much, <laughs> it's kinda crazy, it grows everywhere. Look at this, not sure the name, but uh, you can eat some of this too. Not sure if it's the roots or the, the seeds. Oh, and there's a lot, look. Should I could take it out and it grows a big carrot-like uh, root. Yeah, there's a lot of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm still waiting for some other plants, but uh, yeah, I can't find any of the, uh, the other ones I want. I'll find them eventually. All right.